I'm just digging out this hole here which will be the footing <coughs> for a post that's going to go up as high as the end of the building here. Um, I kind of need to do this and get it in so that I can reference the rest of what the roof line is going to be there. This piece of wood here I've already cut it to size and um, it attaches right up there at the top and then I run the roof rafters down to this post so I need to get this one in so that I've got the whole thing basically mapped out and I can repeat um, more things as I go. But I just filled this hole with water a little bit of um, difficult digging. It, um, it's nice sandy soil here but when it dries out it, it's really hard to dig. Or, but as soon as you hit it with water it, it's actually really good. So um, I'm not sure how far down I'm going to go. I need to we're going to have these stirrups here, post sits in here, this goes down into concrete, so that is level with the top of the ground, so he goes in there, and I'll probably have maybe 300 mil below that, so I've got another 150 to dig out. Um, so I'll get on with that and um, look he's put his ball in there silly boy I'll just dig this out and uh, try and keep it nice and neat and square again. Alright, you don't need to see this. I'll just keep going. Okay, I've just, I've just dug down here. Um, it's, it's a really nice hole. It's a good hole. Um, I've gone down to 350 mil, which is 14 inches, and um, I've struck clay, and it's really good clay, it's really compacted, um, so I'm not going to go any further, um, basically, put that ball in there, boy. Um, this will sit up here, but it goes right down there. Okay, the length of that bit more is the depth of the footing. So I'm going to go with that. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Then I just put a stake in there, this stake. made it difficult. Okay, that way goes level with the house. Bring him up a bit, that way goes level with the house that way. Uh, he'll sit on the corner. I'll be able to set that in. Stake comes out, footing stays in, uh, stirrup stays in. It's all good. You put your ball down there, boy. Um, so uh, yeah, time to mix up some concrete. And get on, get on with it. Do it. Get it done. Finish it. Concrete.
I'll just do half. I'll get some water. Try and get fairly loose. Like it doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be sloppy. You know, once you get to this stage, it only takes the tiniest bit of water to just make the whole thing go off, and you've you've wrecked it. So, just finding all the dry bits. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'll just turn the tap off. See, baby dog, he wants he wants his ball in there. Okay, a little bit loose. A couple of dry bits in there. That's pretty much where we want to sit this. A little bit higher, so I just need enough to fill that. Let's do that. That's all we need. I don't want to go too far. Um, I certainly don't want to waste any concrete. That's not enough. That is not enough. Give him a bit more. See, I can build it up around the post here as well. This ball, get him. See what I mean? You can go so you can go too far so easily that okay it'll it'll work for filling up, but I won't be able to render with it. But anyhow, let's get it in the hole. Okay, I've got the right amount of mix, got everything right. I'll go and wash this bucket out straight away, clean it. So this guy, Goes right there. I'll just go wash my bucket. So he's a little bit low, 
and uh, I want him up around here so I want to gain another 20 mil up so I'm just going to pull him and jiggle him and all the concrete is and stones are going underneath okay let's go again okay still not quite high enough but um, I'm feeling like I should just stop playing with it although now is the time to play with it if you're going to I want to just get all that concrete in underneath there underneath him so that he sits and this guy doesn't want to sit he wants to keep sinking so I'm just going to have to leave it there um, I can always put the post up in the air a little bit to get it above ground um, so long as he's square Okay, I'll stand up and get my reference. Um, needs to go that way a bit. Back here. Just doing this by eye. Sighting along the side of the house. Continuing that line back down here. Same over this side. That side's good, real good. Okay, the the whole the hole's not really square, but that thing is. So, um, my stupid dog, boy. Now you've got cement all over him. Get him. Okay. See, I'm going to mix up just a tiny bit more here. Um, I want to um, I want to build this up so that it's covering the bottom of that because that's all it's got to hang on to. And um, the post holes are up here, so. Even if I come up above ground level and just slope him up, at least he'll have all of that to hang on to. I want to do it while it's still wet. Um, so that the new stuff has a chance to bond with the old stuff. I don't know if all of this is world standard in technique. Because um, I've never done it before. This was a good year. Really good year and um, that was a good night as well I remember so nice and dry much. I know we're right. For so that, it's got to go underneath there. It's got to squish out the other side here. Okay. And the rest of it go there. I know this is going to make bugger all difference but hang out. this is what I'm doing. Get on.
okay, I built it up and um, to my eye it's pretty straight in this direction and pretty straight in that direction. I haven't checked it with a string line yet, but I will. At any rate, I can adjust, you know, so this lines up with the house. I'm not overly concerned about how stable it is in the ground there. Um, it's a footing, it's only got to hold on to either foot um, because the rest of it, there's going to be a beam goes across to the house there and that's at shoulder height and in both directions, over behind me at shoulder height and then the top beam is like twice that distance so There's plenty of lateral support in both directions to stop it from falling over, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm not too worried and I'm not at all concerned with this. I think I did a good job, excellent job. And um, I've got two more of them to do, possibly four, um, just depending on how I go. I just want to get this post in so when I've got a post, I can put my beams across and uh, I'll do the ones at shoulder height, get them anchored nice firmly onto the house and then I'll start working right up in the air there. So um, wish me luck with that, it should be good. And uh, the dog's name is Bono, my name is Kero. Uh, the cat that you saw is Jaco, um, he's a funky cat. and. Uh, this is Kero from Camp Zero on the Eastern Australia area, somewhere out east. Um, and um, it's all good doing this by myself, making it up as I go along, loving it. And um, this will be in place long after I'm gone, which will be a long time. Yep, long way down the track. But. Uh, trying to build something that lasts, lasts, sorry, front teeth are missing, lasts, and a um, bit of a legacy to hand over to the next generation, so that's really what this is all about, it's just making your mark, you know, as you go along, um, adding value to the property. So the next person gets to sell it for even more than you paid for it, which wasn't much. And um, anyhow, before I get caught up in semantics and chatting all day, I'd love to sit here and chat, but um, I've got to get some cooking on the go now and uh, go and play with my dog. He's a little bit restless. So thanks for your company. Appreciate it. Appreciate your kind words and your thoughts in the comments as well. That's all really nice of everybody. Um, so, see you on the next video. Thank you.